to the book of Exodus, we're at Exodus 32, verses 27 and 28. He said to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Every man of you put his sword upon his thigh and go back and forth from gate to gate in the camp and kill every man his brother and every man his friend and every man his neighbor. So the sons of Levi did as Moses instructed, and about 3,000 men of the people fell that day. So if you're just jumping into the middle of this, it sounds you know like, oh no, I've fallen into a blood bloodthirsty, some kind of a bloodthirsty thing, you know, this is the religion of peace, uh, so-called. Well, what's going on, what's going on here is God's people have uh, made agreement with God. They've entered into a covenant with him. They uh, have denied that by creating an idol at the very foot of Mount Sinai. The Ten Commandments were coming down. The Second Commandment, you shall not make or worship any idols. And so Moses has come down from the mountain and uh, he's cleaning up the mess. Aaron was a, was a poor leader while he was gone. And now uh, the camp is in disarray. They've destroyed the idol, but there's things that need to be settled. And so Moses calls everybody to himself and the sons of Levi all agree. So they all come together. And so they then take their swords and yeah, look at the command. So as you look at this command, it just sounds like an indiscriminate slaughter. But of course, as we look at the whole Bible, we would understand this was not an indiscriminate slaughter. What this was, was the sons of Levi were sent through the entire uh, encampment. There's like uh, probably around two million people. And they're sent out to uh, find out who's doing idolatry and who's not. Because who, the agreement was you will not commit adultery. You will not uh, worship an idol, you, you know, and so on. So the uh, ones that are committed to idolatry, they are discovered, they are slaughtered. Uh, so there's a canvassing, there's a going back and forth through the camp. So this is kind of like checking, this is a very thorough uh, going through. And uh, they said 3,000 plus men. And what that means is 3,000 men plus probably another however many women and, and you know, others. Uh, were killed, ones that were determined to stay with the idolatry. Perhaps some of these were the mixed from the mixed multitude. But uh, they had made an agreement to be faithful to God. They had violated that agreement in the most a gross, uh, open way. And now comes the, uh, God's a holy God. If you're going to be, if we're going to live together, because God's going to dwell with his people, they have to be holy. And so they have they have utterly broken this. And, they, and so now we have this, this cleanup. They had committed to this, they committed to the agreement, and now they've broken their own agreement. And so the result is, yes, yeah, you're done. And so those who repented, like Aaron's not killed, Aaron continues to go, he's from the tribe of Levi, and he, he messed up so royally here. But we understand that he must have repented, and he did continue as a high priest after, you know, when this thing all gets, finishes, gets rolling. So there were people who participated in the rebellion, the idolatrous festival, and who repented, and they were not killed. But there were those who were engaged in this, and they were full of rebellion, and they chose not to come over to the Lord's side, and they, uh, they are, they're ended. And so that's kind of what happens here, this kind of very extremely intense uh, situation that the people have created for themselves. Now, you might say that doesn't sound very merciful, but I want to say to you that the necessity of cleansing actually is merciful. When there is, uh, you know, when the, when the surgeon washes his hands before he uh, opens up your chest and, and does all kinds of surgery in there, when he cleans up very carefully, that is to keep, you know, bacteria and, and other random bad stuff from getting into you into places where you don't want it. That's good for you. It's merciful. It's merciful for the surgeon to take these precautions, to follow these uh, procedures that will enhance your survivability of that surgery. And for the camp of Israel, it was important for them to, to take steps to cleanse the idolatry out. And so this was actually a merciful thing. So don't be too quick to judge this as bloodthirst. We have God's ways and we have other ways. We have the unselfish ways of God and we have the selfish ways. We'll just do whatever we want, leave us alone kind of ways. And so that those, those are not compatible. When you agree to participate in the unselfish ways, then, you know, you're, you're making a, a line. There's a line in the sand and you're saying, I'm on this side of it. You need to stand on the right side of that line, on the side of that line with Jesus. All right, let's see what happens as we continue to see what happens. Moses, the leadership has stood up and now we have this uh, tragic uh, outcome, and yet it's a positive outcome in the other way. We'll, we'll carry on and with the story tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.